The police in St. James are probing the shooting of three women in a yard along King Street last night by a gunman. It is reported that about 10.20 p.m. the women were in the yard talking when a man came up and pulled a firearm and opened the fire. The women ran in different directions as the shooter retreated from the yard. It was later discovered that all three women suffered gunshot wounds. Trelawney police have commenced a probe into the gun slaying of a man at a business establishment in his community Wednesday night. The deceased has been identified as 31-year-old unemployed Durant Burr who was of a Cooper Spen address in the parish. Reports are that about 11.50 p.m. Burke and two other men were sitting at a business establishment when a lone gunman walked up and opened fire, hitting Burke multiple times. The gunman then escaped in a waiting vehicle. Burke was taken to the Falmouth Public General Hospital where he was pronounced dead. No motive has been established for the killing. The Major Investigations Division is proving the alleged cowboy and Indian-like bizarre double murder and shooting in Burnside Valley Red Hills, which left two attackers dead and another man nursing life-threatening gunshot wounds. Information reaching the Gleaner is that the deceased 21-year-old Kwame Lee and Theo Bailey are alleged to have carried out a gun attack in the elite terrain community, injuring a man in the process. One man is dead and the police are seeking two persons of interest in what they say is an ongoing gang feud in Yorktown, Clarendon. The deceased has been identified as 45-year-old laborer Kenroy Peter, Tain of a Yorktown City address settlement address. It is reported that the incident happened about 8.15 p.m. on Wednesday along the Yorktown Main Road in the vicinity of York Circle. According to reports, residents heard loud explosions and summoned the police. Upon their arrival, Tain's body was seen lying down along the roadway with what appeared to be multiple gunshot wounds to the upper body and back. He was taken to Maypen Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Further investigations have revealed that the gunmen travelled in two motor vehicles to the location. The police say a number of intelligence-led operational activities targeting the gang has been carried out in the past, resulting in some of its members being killed, displaced or arrested, including the leader. However, a gang feud is seemingly brewing, the police said.